if people are listening to this and thinking, okay, I'm a global company, I need to think about whether and how I want to be in the Chinese AI ecosystem in addition to the Western ecosystem, what exactly should they be thinking about or looking at if they're trying to answer that question? If you're an executive listening to this, go play with DeepSeek right now. Figure out a way, a safe way, a sandbox, download DeepSeek, make sure it's cut off from any private secure data, play with it, understand how it is similar, but also how it is different than the Western models, for example. What works better on DeepSeek versus what works worse? How does it do on hallucinations? How does it do on answering factual questions, etc.? Because it's not a level playing field. It's better at some, it's worse for some. Secondly, and more importantly, keep a broader eye on what's happening in China, not just in the LLM market, but also in the larger business models market. To me, the, the largest story that will probably come out of China eventually, I think two years from now, we won't be talking so much about how the Chinese models might be better or worse than the Western models. I think what we might be talking about two years from now is look at the school business model that they have built based on AI. Because this is exactly what we saw with the mobile revolution. Were their mobile phones better than ours? I don't know. Maybe. Depends who you ask. Did they have significantly different business models that were based on them? 100%. So I think this is something executives and businesses need to keep a very close eye on, which is what kind of different business models, what kind of different use cases are the Chinese building based on this technology that they now have? 